Welcome back to Ash Shepherd Fest. Today's look is my take on like an 80s alien. This costume's so loud. Some ASMR. Okay, enough of that. Today's look is one of my absolute favorites of the entire season. It's an alien, I think, is what I'm calling it. It's kind of like... Okay, hold on. I was really inspired by like the 80s, so that's why I have these really bright colors going on. I just feel like these colors scream 80s to me as well as like um, Barbarella, like comic book characters in space, like babes in space, fighting aliens. So I don't know what this look is, but this is what I came up with. I absolutely love this costume and this wig. I am never gonna get over it. I feel like I'm gonna be wearing this wig often. I just feel like so cool. I actually discovered this wig artist on Instagram first and she has an Etsy and she does her own wig so this is custom synthetic wig styled because I could not, <laughs> I could not do this. So definitely check her out. I will leave her link down below as well as where I got this costume. I found this on Etsy as well. It's from a business in Australia and it's so cool. It's not zipped at all. Like I am not even really wearing it right this second because I wanted to sit comfortably. By now we all know the drill but I'm gonna run through it quickly anyways. There's a little bit of merch left, very limited quantity. So if you're planning on picking anything up this year, make sure you check it out. Don't forget to enter today's giveaway by commenting on the Instagram post for this look. For this look, I partnered with Marigold, so at the end of this video, you'll get to see her look and we'll have a little chat with her and what she's all about. She's a lead singer of a band, so she's super cool. So make sure you stay tuned to the very end of this video for that and let's go ahead and get into this 80s Barbarella space alien look tutorial. <laughs> So as you saw, I'll be painting myself entirely blue today. I'm gonna use these vibe paints that I have left over from last year's Ashtoberfest. And I'll just be pretty much painting my entire face, neck, chest, ears, entire body blue. This paint is pretty easy to work with, but it does dry down pretty splotchy, which you'll notice as it starts to dry down and I layer it. So my best advice if you're gonna do this is to take a lot of time on this part and then go over it with cream paints like I'm doing here. So I'm taking some white cream paint and I'm going to be warming that up with my finger to press underneath my eyes. I'll be using this as a highlight. So that's going to go under my eyes, on my nose, my forehead, my chin, also on the high points like my collarbones and my shoulders. And once I warm that up with my finger, it's a lot easier to work with a dry beauty blender to really get that smooth blend all over the body. But you guys know me, I don't mind if it looks a little messy and grungy. To prime my lids, I'm going to be using that same white cream paint. So I'm just using a little brush and packing that all over my lid in the shape that I'm going to be doing my eyeshadow. Before I go over everything with powder, I wanted to use cream paint. So I'm using another one from the Makeup Forever Flash Palette for my blush. And again, just warming that up with my finger and blending out with the Beauty Blender. Once I'm done with cream products, I'm making sure to set my entire face and body. I'm using a translucent powder. And going over top of that blush with some pink blush that I have. And to contour my face a little bit, I'm just using a darker blue from the Colored Rain Vivid Pigments palette. One of my favorite palettes to work with ever. So I'm just using that for all the contour or shadowy parts. So I'm going to go in between my collarbones, my neck underneath my jawline and all of that. For eyeshadow, I wanted to use a really yellowy green chartreuse vibe because it's one of my favorite colors. So I'm using this melt palette to pack that on all over the lid. I also went with this other shade that I didn't really love and then I'm putting on glitter all over the place. For brows, I'm just using a black cream paint and kind of doing a straight across brow and taking my Fenty Trophy Wife all over and then the Fenty What A Brat for highlighter. This look got really sparkly really fast. And another glitter. This one is from Makeup Forever Starlet Powder, some of my favorites. Of course we're doing a big wing, what do you expect? And 
lining my lower lash line with some black liner and then I'm using a purple eyeshadow from the Vivid Pigments palette to smoke that out and kind of blend down into the blush. And then using a dark blue on the inner corner and added some crazy big lashes. For my lips, I'm doing a hot pink lip, so lining and then I do go in with the cream paint from the palette that I had left over and kind of brush that over my lips. And then I finish off with my Trixie Mattel Bobble Lipstick. This is honestly one of the worst lipstick formulas I've ever used, and that's it. All right, with the wig on and the rest of me painted, how am I gonna wash all this off? <laughs> I don't even know. This wig is so cool. I, I love ponytail wigs now. That's all I want to wear. And this is my final form as an alien. I want to look like this every day. I want to be painted blue, pink, and green every single day. Where do I go where that's normal? <laughs> we need to find a life on another planet where I belong like this. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to enter today's giveaway. Shop the merch if you haven't checked it out already. You can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok. But that's it for me. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi. Stop. The first time I couldn't see you, I'm like, hello. <laughs> Where is she? <laughs> How are hello. you? Oh, I'm good. Good, me too. Good to see you. Good to meet you, kind of, in over FaceTime. <laughs> yeah. How is the Ash Oberfest going? Lots of editing. Yeah, I'm still here. My face is pink because actually I have that screen pulled up, but I'm editing. How was class? Um, it's been really strange. Everything for us is online right now because of COVID. Oh, yeah? Um, yeah, so luckily I'm almost done with school, so that's good. But yeah, class is super weird. It's all like this. It's all through Zoom calls. Um, so it's just been super weird. And then like deadlines and stuff are so easy to miss. Yeah. Because you post something and you never see it. So it's been an adjustment, but you know, almost out. Just got to get through this year and I'm on my way. So. Oh, that's good. <laughs> what are you like, what are you going to major in? Or do you have any plans with that? So I am majoring in art and technology. Um, so like basically graphic design, graphic design, social media type stuff. Um, our school is kind of weird because they do have like the journalism side of media and then they have like the more art centered side of media with the graphic design. Um, so I'm focused on that and I work for Urban Decay. So it'd be awesome eventually to even like be more involved with the brand and stuff. Yeah. Um, I love them. Like They're so <laughs> cool. I'm really young. So it's just, like so cool to be able to work for them. My name is Marigold. Um, I work for Urban Decay Cosmetics and I'm located in the Pacific Northwest. I am in a band, I friend a band called Floor Resale and we do like alternative rock type music. We're actually kind of, we took a little break and we're kind of starting everything back up again. So we have new projects coming out um, and you can find us on YouTube and Instagram as well. Um, so yes, I'm super excited about that. We'll have some live videos and things coming out as well, but yeah. It's just a little bit about me. You being the front of a band is so cool. Like, <laughs> goals, dream job, dream everything. I've always wanted to be in a band, but I have no musical talent. Oh my gosh. No, it's, it's a lot of fun. I would say definitely being a woman in, like, in rock music is definitely very tricky, especially being on tour or, like, performing in clubs and bars and things like that. Because um, there's no women, like, in the industry, like, bookers, um, anybody you work with, like most of the bands that I've ever played with have been all male bands with the exception of a few. And even in the scene here, it's like pretty much all male bands, which is common in rock, but it definitely, I would love to have a scene that's more like lots of women and female inclusive. So I definitely try to work towards that as much as I can as well. Yeah. I think we just need more women in general doing everything. Like if we <laughs> could just get the men out. <laughs> I think we'd all be better off, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, definitely. It's time, I feel like. Yeah. Hmm, I've done, like, a lot of weird Halloween costumes. Like, I feel like as a kid, I would always do just these odd things. And definitely a lot of kids in my grade were not a fan. Like, I definitely got a lot of, like... Like, I was bullied a lot as a kid, especially for how weird I dressed and, like, the things I would do. But I did... It's popular now, I think... Some people have done it, but when I was really young, I did like the girl with the green ribbon around your neck. Yeah, I don't know if you've heard, heard that. 
But yeah, it was a book I read as a kid, and I, I remember I went to school, and nobody knew what I was, but I liked it, so that was, like, all that mattered. I've done, like, a lot of weird costumes. I've done, an, like, an escapee from an insane asylum. I've done, like, everything. Like, I even, this is this is embarrassing. I trick-or-treated until I was, like, 18 years old. Like, that's how hard. Yeah. <laughs> so I think definitely... I would still go. Like, if, if it was okay this year, I think I might go. I'm, like, so over 2020 already. It's like, let's just go trick-or-treating and pretend that, like, nothing has happened this year. That's, no, that's how I am, and I don't care either. Like, if I wasn't so tall, I would keep doing it, but I can't really hide anymore. <laughs> What, when you were a kid, did your family celebrate Halloween? Like, were you pretty hardcore into it? Yeah, I, I've always loved Halloween. It's always been, like, I feel like I like it more than Christmas, even, like, because it's not, like, I don't want to sound, like, bad, but, like, I don't love being in huge groups of my family. Like, so Halloween's, like, the one holiday where, like, no one comes over. <laughs> <laughs> and you just eat candy and you get to dress up and I've always loved dressing up and like makeup and everything and just like I don't know dressing up in a costume so it was always so fun and of course getting to go out with all your friends I feel like back in the day like when I think of Halloween I think of like middle school high school years for the most part and you know we got to go out super late at night and trick-or-treat and we like our parents just let us go out we didn't have to bring them with us so we felt like so adults. <laughs> um, are you into scary movies? Yes. What's your yeah. favorite? Oh my gosh, it's so hard. <laughs> I I like like slasher films and stuff, but I would say I'm more into like the psychological thrillers, like the ones that really mess with your mind. Um, obviously, I think a lot of people like from Midsummer was always like one that I was really into. Um, have you seen The Visit? Is that the one with like the? Cr- Yes. There's a the cage. Grandma. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I like stuff like that that's kind of funny, but, like, in a weird way. Yeah. Uh, even, like, The Shining Misery, like, the old Stephen King stuff, just the visuals on those, like, I could watch those, like, a million times. So anything like that, I mean, something that has is, like, a little bit funny, kind of weird, makes you think, like, that's what I'm down for. Yeah, I'm totally the same. Like, the movies that you watch and you're just like, what is happening? And you don't like the ending is so twisted and crazy that's what I like where you have to think I'm not like I like the ones where you know there's jumpy parts and stuff but or like paranormal but I really need like that mind twist yeah no that's how I am because like there's like good slasher films for sure but I feel like the stuff that sticks with you some of the visuals too like in some of those movies I feel like I just think about it forever yeah okay what's your favorite Halloween candy Okay, um, I want to say Reese's. Really? Like that's been, yeah, that's been the one I come back to the most, I feel like. I don't like candy corn at all. Okay, I don't either. Which I, I'm like, whenever I say that, people are like, that's an iconic Halloween candy, what's wrong with you? What about you? Um, I feel like it's different for me every day. Like, I feel like if I was trick-or-treating right this second and someone gave me like a, what are those called? Do you remember Take 5? Yep. I think they sold to Reese's now or something, but the original Take 5, that was what I wanted, at least when I was in high school or middle school. Um, those were, like, my favorite candies. But also, um, what are those one? Um, they're, like, chewy chewy sprees. I feel like nobody likes those, but those are so good to me. <laughs> Do you remember those? Like, the ones that are, like, this big? Yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Those are so good. They're like chewy sweet tarts, pretty much. Are you more of like a sweet candy person or do you like like chocolate? Like, do you like fruity or are you more chocolate? I feel like I can't discriminate against candy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's true. That's true. Thank you for even collabing with me on this. I obviously love your work. I, did you know I found you because you tagged me from like, you used one of my presets one time and that's how I found you. <laughs> Funny. No, yeah, um, I love your, your presets, too, and I that's the thing, I've gone through so many different, like, editing programs, and I've been on Lightroom for a while, kind of, like, making my own things, but you put yours on, I was like, damn, like, I feel like for, like, makeup and, like, outfit photos, it's, like, the perfect, like, just the perfect thing, you know, it's, like, what I was looking for, and a little bit grungy, too, because I feel like a lot of times influencers will put on something that's very polished and, like, which I like, but I do kind of like a little bit of that like grunge feel. Yeah. So that was 
Oh, thank you. I I work really hard on them, and I try to make them different. Like, I try to do something that's polished and cute, but I like to go back to my grunge side and, like, have a little film vibe going on. Um, If you don't have all of them already, I'll send you the rest of them. I don't know which ones you have. I have, okay, I think I have three. I have the L.A. one. I have, I think it's, like, your original grunge one, Mm -hmm. and then unreleased. Okay, I'll just send you a link that has all of them. Oh my gosh, it's so sweet. <laughs> it's no <laughs> problem at all. You always tag me and stuff too, and I love to see your pictures, so. Oh, it's so sweet. Yeah, no, I love your I love your stuff. And especially for, like, the kind of photos I take, it's super easy. Like, you just pop it on, and yeah, it's nice. So thank you for all of your hard work on your presets and stuff, because it's it helps me out a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for using them and sharing your pictures and tagging me and all of that jazz. That's how I found you. So I'm super glad that you tagged me because now we can be friends and hang out on FaceTime during quarantine. All right. Well, I hope you have a good night and I will talk to you later. Good. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you too. Bye.